Let's take a look. Hello, former Vice President. My name is Van Jay O'Callaghan. I'm here with my husband, Patrick, and our son, Rowan. We live in Berkeley, New York. I'm wearing this mask to protect my family as I've been diagnosed based on my symptoms for the coronavirus. Although I cannot be tested due to the limited number of tests available here in New York City. My husband and I are both hardworking, college educated Americans who like countless other Americans will suffer as a result of this pandemic. I work full time for a small company that does not offer health benefits. My husband is a freelancer. We currently pay over $2,000 a month for health insurance for our family of three. My question for you is that when our savings account inevitably runs out due to him not being able to work right now, what is it that we sacrifice? Do we sacrifice food, rent, or health care? You should not have to sacrifice anything. Let me say that again. You should not have to sacrifice anything. Not just because it's the fair thing to be taking care of your entire family and every family in your circumstance, but because it's best for the whole country, the entire economy. It's not just doing a favor for any individual. Number one, your health care, you should not have to pay a penny for testing, and it should be available to you by now. We were promised it a while ago. You sh it should be available for you to be tested and determine what needs to be done. Number two, the House just passed an unemployment uh, proposal that increases by $600 the unemployment insurance should get. Whether or not you were part of, you have been covered by unemployment insurance or paid into it before, including your husband who may have been, he's a, a, uh, uh, a entrepreneur on his own, doesn't have employees. You will be covered, and that should be done, but that requires the government to be the federal government to help the states set up the unemployment offices in a way that they can handle this enormous, enormous call on the need for being the, the, the unemployment insurance. Thirdly, the cost of a test should be absolutely zero for you. Number one. What number about two, the rest of our health care, Joe? The Senate's going to have to go back and make sure anything related to the cost of the coronavirus health care should be free. What about the rest of her health care, Joe? But equally important, one of the things I asked the president not to do and the Republican attorneys general about, I guess, week 10 days ago is withdraw their suit to try to do away with Obamacare, do away with the health care provisions that we passed. But it's costing them 2000 a month with Obamacare. Make sure that you're in a position where you're able to have insurance, covers 20 million people who didn't have insurance, and in fact, drop the suit. Let's make sure people have the coverage that was available under Obamacare. Do not, do not try to strike it down, because we have to add on to that. We have to add on to that to make sure it's even more, more available, more affordable. So. All of like Medicare for all, maybe sure that you are getting the test as rapidly as you can. You need not pay for that test. Um, the House is going to have to come back in the Senate again. Anything relating to the coronavirus, you should not be cost yeah. any American to be able to pay for it, etc. Well, let, let me ask Mr. Vice President, you know, obviously more than three million Americans have filed for, for unemployment benefits for the first time just last week because of the mass job layoffs. Many also lost their health insurance. Um, Medicare for all would have prevented these kind of disruptions in health care coverage. Your plan would preserve employer-based health care. I'm wondering, in a, a case like this, is your plan better than Medicare for all? Yes, number one. <laughs> and we provide, the plan I have provides an option, a Medicare option, a public option for Medicare if you can't afford the health care you had or you lose it because your employer you're automatically get covered if you qualify for uh, for uh, Medicaid. And so you would be covered. It can get passed and it's affordable. It costs a lot. Of you money. had a Democratic it cost 35 trillion house in a Democratic and Senate. You couldn't get it passed. And, uh, uh, and you're so lying through your teeth, is, Joe. It's the quickest way to make sure we get covered. But in the meantime, with regard to this virus, you should not have to pay anything for the cost of the virus. That should be directly appropriated money from the federal government. You still didn't answer a question. Angela Campbell, a teacher and a union leader who lives in Middle River,